Hey, good morning. So Bella's acting like she's going to go psycho, which is pretty much normal. School bus just went by. So I'm Brooke and my business is the junk parlor. Bella's here on guard with us. And I mentioned yesterday during my live that we have a challenge going on in my coaching group, and that is to go live every day um, in May. So 30 lives. And so today what I wanted to do was just walk you around the living room. My oldest has gone to work already, and normally he is sleeping at this time. But um, if you followed me for very long, then you know that I like mornings. I'm most productive in the mornings. I like to do stuff in the mornings. And so him being at work, I'm like, let's get this done. Um, so I'll be going live every day in May. My biggest alive will be on Sunday at 7 p.m. because I am going to do a pop-up Facebook sale, YouTube sale. So I also yesterday couldn't figure out how to turn the camera around. And today we're going to see if I can figure it out. Somebody helped me. And I'm going to see if I can flip the camera around. Ooh, it worked. So I have picked up my chair cushions, which are turned like that because <laughs> they keep blowing in the wind. Um, I picked them up like five times yesterday because the backs are not attached. That one's fallen over and they just take off. So here is the space. I'm going to back up here to the front door. So here's kind of what you're going to see when you come in our house. And when we looked at houses nine months ago, it was before interest rates went up and where basically there were like five houses on the market that met our criteria. And this one was by far the best. And this view right here when we walked in was pretty much what sealed the deal on this being one of the best um, options because we loved that it was all open. So since moving in, we put the built-ins in, which was an, in a very much <laughs> a crazy ordeal. And I have videos up on YouTube all about that experience. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare. And no, I did not stain them or paint them or I haven't even sealed them. And I really have all these, these are three cabinets and they look like um, drawers, but I have not picked out drawer pulls yet. And in my video of just the built-ins, you'll see this side, see how those three boards are out of the same piece of plywood or doors. And this side is not. If I had been paying attention to what the guy was doing and known that this set didn't match up like the set here on the right, I would have had him flip flop it. But we know, or I know, maybe you know, it was such an ordeal that I just never want to talk to the person again. <laughs> so I kind of change things as far as what I put over here. A lot of this stuff might be on the website or something that is for sale, like this stack of platters is on the website. So if there's ever anything that you see on my built-ins and you're interested in it, just ask um, because I'm definitely into layering and I'm pretty much always, I always have things for sale. Now, this is something, the, the glass is broken, which you might've seen this in one of my YouTube thrifting hauls, but I love this, like, what do you even call it? Punch art, whole art, um, cross stitch. And it's kind of hard to see because of the glare, but I am going to start collecting those. Then we have just a pile of antlers or sheds that the kids have gotten. And again, just things for sale. So my least favorite section currently is this one right here. There's not much in it, um, which is probably why, but I just haven't really like felt like I have a calling on what I want to put there. So my upper sections, again, 
most of this is for sale. This little creamer is from our wedding set, which we now use on a daily basis. Um, nothing in that cloche for some reason. But we use our dishes um, because otherwise they just sit in the cabinet. This is a stool that I have a pair of these and I actually need to get this listed on the website. So it's kind of like a piano stool in the sense that it will um, go higher or lower. It's got covered feet, um, leather there on top, but I can't remember the maker. So let me flip this over. This is Hamilton Manufacturing Company. So these are some pretty nice stools, which is why I want to get them listed on the website. But if you are interested in those, um, just shoot me a message. You can see my little blue section, the birds. I've shared that um, on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. So we'll just go ahead and pop that light on love them. Then when we first moved, um, I bought this cabinet at Goodwill. You're not even going to be, you're not even going to guess the price. It was $11 at Goodwill. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I had thought about, and there's a good cobweb right there. I'm going to get that while I'm seeing it. Um, I thought I would just turn around and sell it but I really like the color and the style and everything. So um, it is going to stay. Then we have a bunch of atlases stacked, a bunch of wooden bowls stacked. And then this is like, I don't even know. It was in stuff that I thrifted and I liked it. So I shoved it in a bowl. Same with these green bowls. They were in something I thrifted and I just put them here in the bowl. This was a lamp piece that I shared a while ago and it just kind of fits here as the base of the cloche really well with a book and some nests in it. Another little drawer set. And then I, in addition to having the cabinets made, I did this section, which is the board and batten. And I have a YouTube video and blog post all about that. So I did the ledge and hindsight, I should have done the ledge a lot deeper because it really limits what I can set here. Um, in my mind, I would just set like, you know, one thing. But when I decided to put the mirrors here, I really wanted them layered. So I'm limited to two deep. I do have these secured. I doubt we can see it. But I have... Well, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a nail and then you know those little metal hooks that you can get where you nail it in at an angle and then it has a hook off the wall. I have all of the mirrors, um, the wire part hooked to one of those hooks so that they can't fall over. Actually, I don't have the oval one done. I was going to and then I changed my mind. Otherwise, this is a thrifted... Um, fake plant. I love the look of plants, but I normally can't keep anything alive. So I thought that would fit nicely here in one of my crocs with the egg crate turned sideways. I do have this quilt. I think this one might be listed on the website. I love crazy quilts and there's a seam right here on the back of the sectional, just like that one. So I have this blanket there just kind of covering it up, breaking up all the plain cream. This clock I got off of Facebook Marketplace. You can tell from that clock and that clock. I kind of like clocks. My mother-in-law gave me this little snake plant, but it's not one that gets tall and skinny. She thinks it's going to stay low. Kyler did this little turtle. So it just happened to sit in there well. So I put that. This I got thrifting somewhere. And this table, fun thing about this table, um, I obviously I have it shoved in there with a bunch of books. 
And then that is a chess game um, underneath. But this was probably one of my first 4-H projects, um, which was probably a nightmare for my mom because I'm sure I cried and fought tooth and nail about wanting to do it um, back in the day for every single 4-H project. But she stuck with it, so I've done a lot of refinishing because of 4-H. This was like this, and um, a dog or something got a hold of it. I'm thinking this was my great-grandparents, maybe. It wasn't our dog that got a hold of it, according to my memory, but you're supposed to put a little ashtray in there, and I never have. But I like that it's so skinny because we really don't have too much walkway space right here. So, and I just, you know, like the look of it and the detailing. I have purchased a round table that I'm going to cut down and turn into a coffee table, but I have to pick that up. And so that might be another month or so before that happens. But I love this stripped uh, side table, coffee table as well. We are going to get a bigger TV at some point. I don't like how it's mounted. Again, if you've been following me for a very long, um, this was an ordeal. <laughs> Took way too long to hang. And I don't like that it's so low. To me, it should be up. I would want to see paint all the way around it. But it was such an ordeal that by the time Matt got it hung up, we were just like, screw it. We're just leaving it. This clock is actually um, from, oh, a family friend, and I think it was either her or her husband's families. So that kind of started my clock infatuation, and I just love it. This one has really cool feet, which I'm not sure if you can see completely. This is from our trip to Hawaii, and I love old books, the neutral uh, decor. I mean, my favorite color is green, but I just love neutral. Um, Deb gave me this little angel because she knew I was missing my angel for my nativity. Um, not quite the same, but uh, still a very thoughtful gift. My friend Hillary gave me this plant, which I love. I love the little pops of purple and I just stuck it in a basket I had thrifted and just have it layered on a bunch of stuff. I definitely have um, another dish from our wedding set getting all stained and stuff, but I don't want water to get on my unfinished Bilsons. And then this was a uh, vase was from my uh, Matt's uncle's funeral and um, had flowers in it and now it holds paint brushes and i got this huge cloche thrifting it had somebody's like bridal flowers there was a bunch of like styrofoam in it and then all of these dried flowers so it was basically a mound of flowers i don't know it was very weird so we've got a few more things this one is already listed on the website and this is another one of those punch um, cross stitches. It's not, I love it. It's not in the horizontal shape. Like my mom has a family one that I'm hoping she will let me have someday. So I'm really kind of looking for the long skinny ones. That picture, I would have sold it probably a million times, but it is filled with concrete. Someone had put a, uh, like a cast iron, what do you even call it, pipe down into some concrete and they had turned it into a light or a light at some point. So it's super heavy. I'm not going to ship it. I love this watch cabinet. I've had many of these. Um, this is the only one I have left and this one was the biggest. The others were little squares. We've got some ironstone platters. This one I think is on the website. We have the chess pieces in one of the bowls here. Got some little nests. And then this painting was hanging up in the kitchen um, in the dining area, but it was with a, a winter one and I 
swapped it out for something else. This is my grandpa's or maybe my great grandpa's old shaving mirror. And I found this one at Brass Armadillo and I was just like, ooh, those would look really good together. So got that one as well. And these corbels, if you remember my Centerville house, I had them in between the kitchen and the dining room up mounted on the ceiling. And they are from my friend Flint. And he was nice and he literally just gifted them to me. So that's kind of a little tour of the living room. I'll talk through some other spaces um, later on this month, but that uh, painting on canvas, I had two of them here because the one was a winter look. I hung up this watercolor, which you may have seen me pick up um, thrifting. Actually, um, but I go thrifting every week and I share videos of uh, going shopping. And then I also share videos of my hauls at the end. And I used to have a first dibs group when I was back in Centerville. And um, this is basically my first dibs group now. So if you watch my YouTube videos um, at the end or sometimes throughout the video, I will just share what I picked up. And if you're interested in, in any of that stuff, then you can just comment and say, hey, Brooke, you got this bowl. How much is it? And then we can just go from there. So that's kind of replacing the first dibs group um, for now, just because moving to Ankeny changed everything that I do. And so I'm trying to um, trying to adjust to a new normal. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of our living room here in the new house. Um, I love it. Um, and we're making it our own. And I think the next big thing, big project, well, one, I need to finish the laundry room that I started. Two, we need to beautify the deck so we can actually use it this summer. And three, we need to figure out a flooring situation because the carpet is what, seven years old, maybe eight years old. And it needs replaced. So are we going to replace it with carpet, do wood flooring, or do the luxury vinyl? Is that what it's called? Luxury vinyl, the interlocking stuff? I don't know what we're going to do. So let's see. Wherever I am, I cannot see comments. So before I end, hey, Heather. Thank you. I appreciate that. So Heather, make sure you have um, Sunday on your calendar because we are going to be doing a pop-up sale on Sunday at 7 p.m. So I know everybody kind of has missed my sales because everybody messages me and I so appreciate that. Um, just like I was just saying, Ankeny has kind of been a transition for us. So trying to figure out the new normal. All right, Heather. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you have your notifications turned on on YouTube. You can ring the bell on Facebook. You go to like the, the button that says following and you can turn on your notifications. And also a lot of times during a live on Facebook, it's gonna ask you if you wanna get notif notifications. So you don't miss me later on this week. All right, see you tomorrow.